Hey everyone, welcome to the Be Me Life. Today we're having a pretty exciting video because we're actually going to review a wearable technology device. And it's really exciting for me and for you, I'm sure, if you're here in the Be Me Life because I'm really a huge believer in the upcoming wearable tech. For example, we've seen how Apple, which is a huge company, has incorporated an electrocardiogram, which is a medical device, into their Apple Watches. That's just really exciting because I really think it's just one of the first steps towards incorporating all these things into wearable sizes or configurations. A few days ago, my uncle actually asked me if I knew of any watches or wearable blood pressure monitors because he suffers from hypertension. I was like, you know what? I'm actually not sure, but let me check. I was doing some research and I found that there's actually one medically proven watch that measures blood pressure and it's really exciting because i really didn't know about this but this watch is like 500 dollars, so i didn't necessarily recommend my uncle to buy that one but then i found that amazon has a way cheaper version of a watch that measures blood pressure and that's what we're going to be reviewing today it's the fit Ford fitness tracker it measures blood pressure activity track heart rate monitor and a sleep monitor. Now, this is only $27 on Amazon. So, you know, if you compare $27 to a $500 medically proven watch, something's gonna go on there. So we're gonna see how it works and we're gonna compare it to a Walgreens automatic blood pressure monitor. Before we get into comparing these two devices, I just wanted to talk a little bit about blood pressure. Now, why is it so important to track it? If you really think about it, our heart is a pump and this pump is connected to many pipelines that work with fluid which is our blood now our blood is a very thick uh, viscous fluid it has many properties and you just want to make sure that the pipeline is working well and one of the factors that contribute to it is the pressure that the blood exerts on the walls of the pipelines or the vessels that's what blood pressure really is just the force exerted on the artery or vein walls you probably heard that there's two kinds of pressures there's the diastolic and the systolic and the diastolic basically means the highest pressure that your blood achieves and that is whenever the heart contracts and then when it relaxes that is our systolic pressure the normal values for a human being i'm not sure if it differs for adults or children but i know that the average value is 120 for diastolic 80 for systolic so so you'll probably just hear it referenced as 120 over 80. So we are going to unbox this now. And it's honestly a very simple packaging. Again, this is not a medical device, but we're gonna compare it to an FDA regulated medical device and see how accurate it is. It appears that it was completely dead out of battery, so we have to charge it. I'm not sure how long it's going to take but we're gonna leave it charging and you also have to download the app. So we might end up continuing to record this video either later today or tomorrow, but we'll see you right now. It is the next day already. I left this watch charging for about an hour, I wanna say. It fully charged, so that's not bad at all. And so today I've been testing it. I did a few runs with it because apparently you have to calibrate it before you use it and that's done using the app. But anyway, I was actually pretty impressed with how accurate the results were or some of the results. But we're going to try to replicate that on video now. I have like a little experimental design where I'm going to compare both the diastolic and systolic pressures that the watch reads to that of the monitor. I also want to say that this turned out to be very user friendly, way more than I expected. So yeah. First, I'm going to start with the actual blood pressure monitor. You have to be very calm and still to take your blood pressure. We're just going to wait. <laughs> and now I'm going to start taking my blood pressure and I'll show you guys both of the results. So this is 110 over 73 and this is 107 over 77. That's pretty close. I'm just gonna write it before I forget. I'm just gonna do this for five more runs and then we'll see how it looks. 
Oh, you're getting both. Yeah, okay. so. As you can see, ratings look pretty close to each other, but let's do percent error calculation, systolic, and the diastolic. So we're gonna consider the monitor to be the actual value minus the experimental over the experimental. Multiply times 100. It's okay, as you can see from this data, the errors are not that bad. The highest value that we have, or values that we have, are 9 and 7% error. And that's honestly not bad at all, in my opinion. Most of them are around 2 or 3%. But overall, I think that's pretty good. So I'm honestly pretty impressed with this watch. I think it does what it says that it does, and it's like a really affordable price. I do think that you might need to calibrate for every single individual. So say if I have this watch calibrated to myself, then I don't think I could give it to someone else to measure their pressure. I think you would have to recalibrate to each individual. But overall, I'm pretty satisfied with how well this works considering that this is $27, a very affordable price. And yeah, I honestly really like this watch. It's very user-friendly, very simple, very easy to use, pretty much works. So if you're looking for an affordable way to keep track of your blood pressure, you know, maybe you have low uh, blood pressure or high blood pressure, I think something like this works very well anyways i hope you enjoyed this video um it was very fun for me to do this little experiment and compare this device to an actual medical device and see that it works pretty well i would love to do more videos like these like reviewing more health tech devices so let me know if there's anything that you guys think we should review in this channel i would love to this is it for this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe follow us on instagram twitter facebook TikTok, everything at the BME Life. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.